In this video we'll take a look at the what are called the special products and there's two of them here. The first one is when you're squaring a binomial. So x plus 3 is a binomial and we're squaring it which means an x plus 3 times another x plus 3. And I'm going to model both of these special products with algebra tiles in this page and then we'll take a look at uh, some examples on the uh, next two. Now algebra tiles um, are actually an area model and this long skinny rectangle here is meant to represent a rectangle that is x units long so this does not have a specific length uh, the length is x so x could be some number so it's x long but it's exactly one unit wide and so if you take a rectangle and multiply the length by the width x times 1 is 1x so this has an area of 1x or we call it an x each of these little tiny squares is meant to be a one unit by one unit square so one times one is one so they have an area of one each of them so this side is supposed to be one of the x plus threes here so it's x plus three more across the top is another x plus three more so that would be x plus three as well and then we fill in the diagram to make uh, it an entire rectangle or in this case a square now this figure right here is a square because it's x in one dimension dimension and x in the other so x times x is x squared so that would have an area of x squared each of these are th are x's so there's 3x there and then 3x more here and there's nine of these little squares so 9 times 1 would be 9 so there's unit, there's an area of 9 there so when we multiply x plus 3 by x plus 3 or square x plus 3 these are the terms we get x squared plus 3x plus another 3x plus 9 now Notice if the two dimensions are the same, if this dimension is the same as this, or this factor is the same as this factor, then the two middle terms here will always be exactly the same, because they come from one of them is multiplying this 3 by this x, and the other one is multiplying this 3 by this x, so they're both the same. And the whole point of these special products is so you don't have to go through all these steps to get what x plus 3 squared would equal, so we're developing shortcuts here. So we have x squared plus two of these three x's. Now, this is a multiplication sign. It's not an x. So this means three multiplied by x. And the three and the x are the two terms from the binomial. So this middle term actually comes from doubling, because there's two terms the same here, doubling the product of this. And then three squared in the end. Nine is three squared. It comes multiplying this three by this three, or it's squaring the three. And so our goal, again, is to go directly from here to here. And so this is the shortcut. x squared gives you the first term. 3 squared gives you the last term. And actually, I'm using the, the words first and last, but it really doesn't matter what order you write them. Normally, write it from highest power of x to lowest. So we square each of those to get these two terms. This middle term, the 6x, comes from doubling, multiplying by 2, the product of the x and the 3. So that's 3x doubled is 6x. And that's what this is saying here. So in general, x plus a squared would be x squared plus 2 times the product of a and x plus a squared on the end. Now we, we nor normally don't write that with the brackets. We would normally write that as 2ax. Now the other special product we're going to take a look at is if you're multiplying two binomials together that are the same except one has a plus between the in this case the 3 and the x and one has a minus between the x and the 3 and so if we uh, expand that out now so here's the x plus 3 same as above the uh, blue represent negative 1 so this would be a negative 1 a negative 1 a negative 1 so that's why this is x minus 3 on the top and these would be negative x's here and of course this is negative 9 so this is an x squared. That would be a negative 3x, and this would be a positive 3x, just like above. And then that would be a negative 9. The reason that's negative 9 is because it comes from multiplying a negative 3 by a po positive 3. Negative 3 times positive 3 is negative 9. The reason these are negative 3x's is, is because to get this area, we're multiplying a dimension of x by negative 3's. So that's why it's negative 3x. So there's the four terms from the diagram. Notice that these terms are opposites. The negative 3x and the 3x. So they add to 0. 
And so this simplifies to just x squared minus 9, or 9 is 3 squared. Um, the 3 squared comes from squaring these terms. It's actually positive 3 times negative 3, that's why it's negative 9. And so we get x squared minus 9. Uh, again, this is trying to show a pattern here that it's, this is actually minus 3 squared because it's positive 3 times negative 3. So it's actually this number squared or this number squared. The reason there's a minus sign here is because we're multiplying a positive and negative. So in general, x plus a times x minus a will be x squared. Now, a times x is an ax. Negative a times x is a negative ax. And a times negative a is negative a squared. These terms will always be opposite, so always add to 0. And so it just simplifies to x squared minus a squared. So on to some examples in the second page. So we're squaring a binomial here. And so we would start with x squared at the beginning. The uh, second term, or the linear term in x, comes from doubling x times 5. Or uh, x times 5, 5 times x, same thing. So we're doubling 5x, and then 5 squared on the end. So x squared plus this would be 10x and 5 squared is 25. The uh, second one, same idea, we're squaring a binomial again. So we start with 7x squared. On the end we have the negative 6 squared. In the middle it's 2 times, always 2, times the product of these two terms, 7x times negative 6. Again, that's a multiplication sign, not an x. So 7x squared 7 squared is 49, and x squared is x squared. Negative 6 squared is 36. Remember, a negative, that's a negative times negative. That's why it's positive. This would be negative 42x. Doubled is negative 84x in the middle. Now, c is a special product from the bottom part of the last page. The two binomials are the same, except one is a minus in the middle, one is a plus. So this is the one where the middle terms add to 0. So this will just equal 5x squared, because that actually is this 5x times this 5x, minus 3 squared. The negative 3 squared comes from multiplying the negative 3 and the positive 3. And so that would be 25x squared, and this would be minus 9. No middle terms, because they would add to 0. That's actually the negative 15x here, and the positive 15x here. They would add to 0. Okay, D is like uh, A and B, where again we're squaring a, a binomial. So 8m squared, 7n squared on the end, and in the middle it's 2 times the product of 8m and 7n. So 8m squared would be 64m squared. 8m times 7n would be 56mn, doubled is 112mn and 7 squared is 49, n squared is n squared. E is another product of uh, two binomials are the same, except one is a plus between the two terms and one is a minus, so a lot like C. And so this is the one where the middle terms add to 0. So it's just going to be the 4k squared minus the 9p squared. So that would be 16k squared at the beginning, and 9 squared is 81, so 81p squared subtracted from that. Uh, last example, uh, we have an oil spill on a lake that's in the shape of a circle. And we're, we're asked if the uh, spill grows by 4 kilometers in radius, what is an algebraic expression for the new area, the, how much it's increased by? Or, sorry, the new area, the uh, change in area, sorry, is B. So the area of a circle is, area is pi times the radius squared. So in order to find the, an algebraic expression for the new area, after the kilometer, uh, 4 kilometer increase in radius, then the radius is increased by 4. So instead of r, it's r plus 4. R, the radius is 4 bigger. So this is a binomial that we're squaring. So we'll use that uh, shortcut from the previous two pages. So r squared would be r squared. And then it's 2 times the product of the r and the 4. And then 4 squared on the end. 
So this would be 4r doubled is 8r and 4 squared is 16. And then we multiply or distribute the pi and all the terms get multiplied by pi. So this would be pi r squared, 8r times pi is 8 pi r, and 16 times pi is 16 pi. So that's an expression for the new area. Now to find the change in area, and this is the symbol delta. Delta represents the change in, how much it's changed by. The change in area would be this expression here, which is the first three terms here, minus the original area. So that's how much it changed by, the new area minus the original one. And so notice that these two pi r squareds would subtract to zero, and so that's the change in area right there, those two terms. So 8 pi r plus 16 pi is how much the area has changed by. So it's that amount larger. And that's the end of the lesson.